Hello and welcome everyone. The floor of the mouth has various important structures such as the tongue, various arteries and veins. And unlike the roof of the oral cavity which is formed by the palate, a hard bony structure, the floor of the mouth doesn't have any such hard structures as per se. The floor of the oral cavity is a horseshoe shaped muscular diaphragm that separates the oral cavity from the neck and protects the underlying structures. It acts as a base on which the tongue rests and performs a vital role in swallowing, speaking and many other significant functions. The floor of the mouth is covered by a non-cretinized stratified squamous epithelium and the sublingual mucosa. Anteriorly, it is bound by the lingual surface of the mandible Laterally, by the anterior tonsillar pillars, while medially by the muscles of the tongue, and posteriorly by the anterior belly of the digastric muscle and the hyoid bone. The tongue, which forms much of the floor of the oral cavity, is a muscular organ that helps in speech, swallowing, and breathing. It also contains specialized mucosa responsible for taste sensations. There are two sets of muscles that control the movement of the tongue. Intrinsic muscles and extrinsic muscles. Intrinsic muscles of the tongue are those muscles which do not have their attachments outside the tongue and their action is to alter the shape of the tongue. Extrinsic muscles of the tongue are those groups of muscles which have attachment outside the tongue and therefore their action alter the position of the tongue. Interesting muscles of the tongue include superior longitudinal muscle, inferior longitudinal muscle, transverse muscle and vertical muscle. While extrinsic muscles include genioglossus muscle which forms the majority of the tongue, the hyoglossus muscle, the styloglossus muscle and the palatoglossus muscle. Now one good thing about these muscles is that all of them are innervated by the hypoglossal nerve which is the 12th cranial nerve except the palatoglossus muscle which is innervated by the vagus nerve, the 10th cranial nerve. Now this makes the innervation easier to remember. Now the tongue itself is a very detailed topic because the taste glands, the origin insertion of the muscles is in itself a vast topic that requires separate attention which I will be discussing in a later video. But this was just a short description on the tongue. So the tongue is attached to the floor of the mouth with a fold of a tissue called the lingual frenulum. It helps in stabilizing the movements of the tongue. One important clinical feature is that lingual frenulum is often thickened or shortened congenitally, resulting in a condition called ankyloglossia or more commonly known as the tongue tie. In this condition, the mobility of the tongue tip is restricted due to the thickened frenulum. The treatment of ankyloglossia is done by a procedure called phrenectomy in which the frenulum is removed and the tongue can then move freely. The next major structure that forms the floor of the oral cavity is the mylohyoid muscle. The mylohyoid muscle is kind of like a sheet of muscle extending across the floor of the oral cavity. Mylohyoid muscle arises from the mylohyoid line of the inner surface of the mandible and is inserted into the hyoid bone. This muscle, apart from forming the floor of the oral cavity, also elevates the floor of the mouth in the first stage of deglutition. It also elevates the hyoid bone and depresses the mandible. In about one third of the population, there is a hiatus in the mylohyoid muscle through which a process of the sublingual gland protrudes. 
The myeloid muscle receives its arterial supply from the myeloid artery, a branch of the inferior alveolar artery of the internal maxillary artery. It is innervated by the myeloid branch of the inferior alveolar nerve, a branch of the maxillary division of the trigeminal nerve. The genohyoid muscle is also present on the floor of the oral cavity. It is a narrow paired muscle situated above the medial part of the myeloid muscle. It arises from the genial tubercle of the mandible and runs backwards to attach to the anterior surface of the body of the hyoid bone. The pair of the genohyoid muscles functions to elevate the hyoid bone and brings it forward. They also depress the mandible when the hyoid bone is fixed. The blood supply of this muscle is from the sublingual branch of the lingual artery and is innervated by the first cervical spinal nerve through the hypoglossal nerve. These muscles that are forming the floor of the mouth that are the myelohyoid muscle and the genohyoid muscle are supported by various underlying tissues. And hence one of the major functions of these muscles is to protect these important nerves, vessels, glands and lymph nodes present below the floor of the mouth. Some of these crucial nerves and vessels include the lingual vein and the artery, the lingual nerve, the glossopharyngeal nerve, the hypoglossal nerve and various others. The floor of the mouth also contains sublingual salivary glands and the deep low of the submandibular gland. More detail on salivary glands in some other video. Finally, let's briefly go through the blood supply of this rich part of the oral cavity that is the floor of the mouth. The blood supply to the floor of the mouth comes mainly from the sublingual and the submental arteries which are the branch of the lingual artery. These venous drainage of the floor of the mouth is by the submental vein and the sublingual vein. These veins unite to form the anterior facial vein which in turn drains into the internal jugular vein while the lymphatic drainage is by the submental and the submandibular lymph nodes. I will be making a separate video explaining the anatomy of the tongue in detail and also on other anatomical features of the oral cavity. So make sure to subscribe to my channel to stay updated on my lectures and videos on various topics. For more study materials such as study notes, spec test questions and quizzes, make sure to check out my Patreon page and support me at patreon.com slash studywiththedentist. So I will be seeing you all next time. Till then, take care of yourselves and your loved ones. Stay safe and goodbye.